Antarctica is the most mysterious continent on the planet. It's here that you can find a giant gap several kilometers in diameter, the deadliest place in the world, unusual singing ice, and even real monsters. It's worth seeing. Let's go. As an icy continent, Antarctica boasts many surface gaps, but some are particularly surprising and striking. In 2014, for example, a mysterious gap was discovered on the East Antarctic ice shelf. It's two kilometers in diameter and up to three meters deep. It's clearly visible against the surrounding ice because of its blue color. Initially, scientists believed that this gap, which they've dubbed the biggest on the planet, arose as a result of the impact of a meteorite in 2004. However, a new study has shown that the gap was the result of erosion of the ice surface taking place under the influence of the warm wind which blows in this area of Antarctica at a speed of 35 km per hour. These air currents and exposure to sunlight increased the temperature of the ice, which caused it to become thinner and collapse in some places. According to scientists, the depth will only increase under the effects of erosion. This is not good news because there's another huge gap in Antarctica. A hole-like gap appeared in 1973 off the coast of Antarctica. The mysterious gap remained open for three winters. It then largely disappeared under a layer of frozen ice before reappearing in 2017 with an even wider hole. The hole is incredibly huge. It's about 90,000 square kilometers. Given that the hole is expanding, this could lead to rising ocean levels, flooding, and a bunch of other consequences. In general, ice melting in Antarctica is a very serious issue. A couple of years ago, scientists discovered the Shirase Glacier Tongue in East Antarctica, which turned out to be the hottest point in the region. The ice in this place is melting incredibly fast at a rate of up to 16 meters per year. Scientists' data showed that at the base of the glacier, there are warm currents that affect the melting. Warm water moves through the underwater valley and then rises up to the base of the glacier, melting the ice. This ice then flows out from under the glacier and mixes with the meltwater. The news, again, is not good. The Antarctic ice sheet is the largest reservoir of fresh water on our planet. Melting ice in Antarctica significantly raises the level of the world ocean. Scientists predict that the melting of the ice sheet could lead to desalination of the southern ocean and a 60-meter rise in sea level. Consequences will be horrible. While some scientists are dealing with glaciers, others are trying to find new creatures in Antarctica, and they're doing quite well. Not so long ago, scientists discovered that Antarctica was home to the Loch Ness Monster. In fact, I'm not talking about that very legendary monster from the Scottish Lake, but about a creature that resembled it, hence its name. In fact, the remains were discovered as early as 1989 on Seymour Island, but because of weather conditions and other factors, scientists weren't able to make out the find at once. Only a few years ago, they concluded that the Antarctic Nessie was Elasmosaurus, a long-necked plesiosaur of the late Cretaceous. It reached a length of 12 meters and weighed about 15 tons. These figures are important because, according to scientists, the Antarctic Elasmosaurus is the biggest sea monster of Antarctica. In addition, for a long time, paleontologists didn't know for sure if Elasmosaurus actually existed, so the Antarctic Nessie has become a real breakthrough for researchers. By the way, what about the well-known Loch Ness Monster? Do you believe in its existence? Or do you think that everything they say about it is a fairy tale? Share your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned for more unusual finds and discoveries related to Antarctica. So far, all the Antarctic finds and discoveries I've told you about have been explained by scientists. But there are problems with this ball. Several years ago, a mysterious round object about 37 meters in diameter was discovered 60 kilometers off the coast. If you look closely at the images, you can see one interesting feature. The object stands out, the outer circle. It seems that it's made of solid material. The fact of clear drawing of the object is also surprising. Because of this, it's difficult to understand in which environment the object is located. Either it's located in the middle of the lake or it's on the mountain. But what is it? Scientists are still unable to pinpoint the exact nature of the find. According to them, it's a natural formation, but there are opponents to this version. They believe that the object is of artificial origin, as indicated by its elaborate and distinct shape. Who knows? Maybe they're right. But then what is this ball? And who created it? Do you have any ideas? How do you imagine the deadliest place in the world? Is it a lifeless desert for you? Or a dark spot deep in the ocean? It turns out that the deadliest place in the world is not somewhere in the ocean, but precisely in Antarctica, in a dry desert near the Shackleton Glacier. Such a conclusion was reached by scientists recently. Researchers studied the soil of the dry desert and expected to see typical microorganisms that are used to life in harsh conditions. But they were amazed to find that there were no organisms in the dry desert. Even microbes and bacteria weren't found there. 
This is the first time that soils have been found on Earth that do not support any microbial life. And while there is a possibility that there is life in the dead zone after all, so far this place seems particularly mysterious, frightening, and interesting. You all know that Antarctica is full of ice, but did you know that Antarctic ice can sing? Sounds crazy, but it's true. Of course, I'm not talking about all the ice on the continent, but the specific ones that have been called singing glaciers. They attracted the attention of scientists in 2014. Researchers recorded strange sounds coming from the Ross Ice Shelf. Scientists recorded the sounds of the glacier for two years with powerful sensors and found that the singing was caused by the winds. As they pass through the glacier, they vibrate, causing the ice to emit a resounding low-frequency sound. In fact, it can hardly be called singing. The sound frequency is about 5 hertz, so to hear something, the recording has to be significantly accelerated. Although it's impossible to hear the singing of the ice without equipment, it has negative consequences for the nervous systems of humans and other living creatures. The Oldest Ice Antarctic ice boasts not only vocal abilities, but also incredible age. It was in Antarctica that the oldest ice on Earth was found. In 2018, near the Antarctic Vostok Station, scientists managed to collect samples of the oldest ice, the age of which may exceed 1.3 million years. In general, the fact that there is ancient ice at Vostok Station has been known since 1998. The ice samples of 420,000 years old were raised from a depth of more than 3 kilometers. But as it turned out, if you dig deeper, you can find even older ice. It would seem that the significance of the find is only in the age itself, but that's not quite so. Ancient ice can shed a lot of light on the climatic processes that took place on Earth millions of years ago. It may reveal interesting prehistoric details or maybe even change the whole of history. Unusual Creatures There are many interesting things hidden at great depths of Antarctica, and the oldest ice is not all. For example, last year, at a depth of about a kilometer, scientists stumbled upon unusual creatures that no one had seen before. It's about the creatures reminiscent of sponges. Through the camera, scientists saw that they had adhered to the boulders at a giant depth. The find astounded the researchers. First, the discovery of a new species that no one knew about was a big discovery in itself. Secondly, scientists previously believed that only small scavengers, as well as fish, worms, krill, and jellyfish, could exist at such depths under floating glaciers in total darkness. That's why sponges came as a surprise to them. According to scientists, the newly discovered Antarctic sponges are fed by a special kind of bacterial synthesis around them. This once again confirms how resilient the inhabitants of the icy continent can be. Stardust some Antarctic finds and discoveries allow us to learn more about life on Earth, while others also provide answers to questions about space. A find discovered in 2019 is a great example of this. At that time, an international team of scientists discovered the warped artifact LAP-149 while studying freshly fallen snow in Antarctica. It was found that the object was a rare isotope of iron which came to our planet with interstellar dust. Scientists have also discovered a rare isotope in the Antarctic snow, iron-60. Previously, the presence of this type of iron was recorded only in deep-sea sediments and fossils of bacteria. Scientists believed the isotopes arrived on Earth as a result of one or several supernova explosions from three to one million years ago. The new study documented the first time ever that alien Iron 60 was found in freshly fallen Antarctic snow. The importance of the finding is that the found stardust is of a very rare type so the discovery could provide important data on stellar explosions in neighboring galaxies. Also, the discovery confirms the theory that our galaxy and its interstellar structure could have been formed by exploding stars. That's all, guys. Would you like to go to Antarctica? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.